What is up everyone and welcome back. Hope you're keeping well. Today we are going to continue our territory collection video and today it's the five P's. Um, we haven't got loads of five P's so do let me know what ones you've got that I haven't because I'm sure there's a few of you out there that have got some that I haven't because we've only got 14 coins in total today um, from four different territories so nothing from the Falklands um, and just seven different designs. So it's going to be a much shorter episode and we've got the 1p and 2p episodes coming up as well which we haven't got a massive amount of those either so i might stick that in one video we'll see we'll see um, but let's get straight into it it's enough messing around i'm going to start off with the isle of man and we've just got two different designs so of course two dates as well and we're kicking it off with a larger um, old style five pence much bigger this one and this was the most common date of this design, the 1975. Apparently 1.4 million minted of these, but the 1972 3 and 4 are very scarce with a mintage of just 1,000 according to Nemista. And to me that must be a set mintage, but it doesn't actually say that. Um, so if you've got one of these, do check the date on it. And the subject matter is the Tower of Refuge there, built in 1832 served as a refuge for mariners wrecked on the rock, um, which was obviously a regular enough occurrence for them to spend a whopping £254 building it in 1832. That is a lot of money. Um, now in the custody of the RNLI, rather fittingly, and although it looks like a pretty big castle, it's actually only 41 feet. That's 12 and a half metres high, which I mean is pretty high, but... It looks much bigger, doesn't it, on the uh, image there. Well, that's far too much blabbing about one coin. Next up, we've got our only other Isle of Man 5 pence. And it's a much more familiar size. Quick comparison there, shall we? And this one we actually picked up in an episode of Coin Stall Hall fairly recently. So you may well recognise this if you've been watching the, watching the channel. And it's the Gout's Cross Carving. Um, it's going to be tricky to see there. Just to the right of the five, you can see a die mark there on this one, an AB die mark. Probably just about see it there, hopefully. And also PM as well, just on the left, which is the Popjoy Mint mark. And this was sculpted by Gout Bjornsson, who was credited with many of the cross sculptures still surviving all across the island now that's from the viking age and um, so there's isle of man done territory number two and again we've only got two coins here and they're actually the same design just with a different date and this is guernsey and we've got two of these yachts this is a 1992 with the third portrait of the queen and a mintage of 1.3 million, so pretty common. And then we've got a 2010 one as well, which is in much better condition. Fourth portrait, and I couldn't find a mintage figure on this. The um, territory mintage figures can be very, very spotty. Some you'll find, some you just, they just don't exist. So that's Guernsey out the way as well. Next up, I've got a design that I do love here, and this is Gibraltar, and they do have some cool coins. And here we've got the Barbary Ape, or the Barbary Macaque, which is a regular feature on their coinage. You've got the 50Ps as well, which they appear on, which we will see in a later episode of this series. And then just at the bottom there, you can see some more candy tuft flowers, which we have seen before on the channel as well. We've got two different dates of the Barbary Ape, uh, 1990 and 1992. So two of those, and then the only other Gibraltarian one is this more modern, awesome Candy Tuft. It does look a bit different to the other Candy Tufts. I did research it for a while and people do seem to believe it is a Candy Tuft as well. And it's a 2016 one, this. I do like that portrait. 
And that's Gibraltar done as well. And we're five minutes in and we're down to our last territory already. So I did tell you this was going to be a short episode. And I did want to bring it to you a bit sooner, but I won't go into it. It was kind of out of my hands. And finally, we've got Jersey. Just two different designs on this. As we know, Jersey do tend to keep the same design for quite a while. Um, seven different dates though. First up, we've got the old large, 1968 with the emblem on it. And this of course has the Arnold Maschin second portrait on it. 3.6 million of these minted. So pretty common, not in the best condition to be honest. One I would certainly look to pick up in a better condition if possible. And we've got another old large, and this is the more recognizable design, I'm sure. And this is Seymour Tower. Built in 1782 as a coastal defence tower. And actually now, currently available as self-catering accommodation since 2006. And the tower also features on um, BBC documentary The Riddle of the Tides in 2012. So if you want to know a bit more about that, and you've got some time to spare, go and have a watch. And that's a 1984 minage of just 300,000 so nice one to have and then we've just got five more of the same design but a shrunk down version again Seymour Tower but on the newer smaller five pence five different dates on that ranging from 1990 up to 2003 and minages are between a million and four million there are some more scarce dates, but guess what? We haven't got them. <laughs> but maybe one day we'll find a few more. So, not so much variety in this episode. Some cool coins, though. Love the Gibraltar ones, especially. And the old large Island Man one. The yacht's pretty cool as well. But let me know what other ones I need to pick up. I know there's a golf one, which is uh, pretty awesome. There's a couple of golf ones, actually, I think, from the Island Man. Um, and there's some more as well. But let me know what ones you've got. What ones do I need to get? Come back next time. We've got pennies and two peas coming up. And I've got some crackers in there. So make sure you come back and see that one. Thanks for watching everyone. Give us a like and a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. We're still pushing towards 1,000. And last warning. I may do it once more. But first place. You've still not claimed your prize from the giveaway. And I know you're active. you just obviously not watched that video. I'm not going to tell you again, that's it. <laughs> and then we'll redraw it. But thanks everyone. Take care. See you soon.